Today in the Fresh Brew Run Club, I'm running four miles in the Nike Invincible 3 and four miles in the New Balance More V4 to answer the question, which is the better shoe? Welcome to the Fresh Brew Run Club. So for today's video, got a little shoe battle on our hands. So I'm going to go for an eight mile run. The first four miles, I'm going to wear the Nike Invincible 3. And then the last four miles, I'm going to wear the New Balance Fresh Foam X More V4 and see what I think of the shoes on a direct comparison. Sometimes you really have to be in the moment and you have to directly compare these two shoes. So four miles in the Invincible 3, four miles in the More V4. Let's see who comes out on top. All right, so I'm gonna start out with the Invincible 3s since that's the first shoe that I purchased. So I'll talk about the laces in a little bit, but you'll notice I have a runner's knot, which is kind of like an extra loop. Helps to lock the shoe down a little bit, which is important for the shoe, but like I said, I'll get to that in a little bit. Let's go for a run. All right, so for both four mile segments, I'm gonna go on a nice, easy pace because that's what both of these shoes are really designed for so let's talk about the invincibles this is a somewhat controversial shoe when it first came on the market there were a lot of uh hot takes that came out i didn't have a hot take about this shoe i actually liked it so i am a huge fan of the invincible one and two this shoe is a little bit of a departure so i didn't like it quite as much but it's not a bad shoe at all this is a firmer shoe it's a little more stable and i think it will help you run a little bit faster as opposed to the originals which were an easy run shoe so i mentioned the laces before which gets to the most controversial part of this shoe and that is the heel lock or how well your heel stays locked in place in the shoe there were a ton of people i saw on the internet and even in my comments saying how much they hated the shoe because there was no heel lock. So on my first run, and I made a video about this, I also noticed a little bit of that heel slippage, lack of a heel lock, and a mile into my run, I stopped and I retied my shoes. I used the runner's knot and I have not experienced a single problem since. It's a very simple solution. So overall, this is a still a very cushioned shoe, a lot of cushioning, and they just kind of tighten it up a little bit made it a little more firm, you know? So it's a little more versatile. Again, I liked the Invincible 1 and 2s more. They were just much more of an easy, slower, more cushioned shoe, but these are fine. They're a fine shoe. I'm gonna run 300 something miles in them. They're very durable, I've found. So, about halfway, I'm gonna turn around, head back to the start, switch shoes, and compare the difference. All right, phase one is done in the Nike Invincible 3s. Now I'm going to put on a pair of the New Balance More V4s, go for a run and see how they stack up. Okay, so now I will switch out the shoes. I will say the laces on the Invincible 3s are a little bit shorter than I would like, but not a deal breaker. Let's grab the More V4s. So let me lace these up. Also somewhat shorter, shorter laces than I would have liked, but you can easily double knot them which I like to do. All right. All right, so we are laced up and ready to go. Part two of the run in the New Balance Fresh Foam X More V4. Okay, so right off the bat, the first two things that stand out. One, I think these shoes are just a little bit heavier. Definitely noticeable when you compare them run to run. And two, you can absolutely tell that this shoe the more v4 has more of what is called a rocker construction which is kind of like a think of like a rocking horse that is the shape of the bottom of this shoe which is meant to help you roll through your stride as opposed to the invincibles which were a little bit more flat all right about a mile in it took a second to adjust but i'm reminded why i really like these shoes and that is the smoothness in which they operate that rocker as a heel striker just helps me to roll through my stride back to front. These are smooth. The Fresh Foam X is a firmer foam than the Zoom X. So it's kind of like a heavier, chunkier feel, but it also feels a little more stable, which kind of backs up my, my thought that this is more of a long run shoe. So not necessarily an easy run, maybe a little faster than an easy run. They can definitely handle an easy run, but it'll get you like a little more speed and just a little more like stability over the span of a very long run. Speaking of which, I did run 
32 miles in these shoes and they were great. Now it has gotten considerably warmer since I started running and that might be my biggest gripe with these shoes. They are not breathable at all. I think the Invincible 3s have a little bit of a thinner upper material so they're a little bit cooler. Those are also not super breathable but these ones, my feet, my feet are getting hot. <laughs> so I mentioned I'm a heel striker and the thing I really like about these shoes is it kind of makes me run a little more up on the front of my feet, which is a more efficient stride. I like the sort of boost that these shoes give me. I'm more forward into my stride, whereas the Invincibles, I'm back on my heel. I don't know if this is the right terminology, but the Invincible 3 feels like sharper, like it's a it slaps the ground. Like every movement is very like this, whereas the more V4 feels smoother. Everything just kind of flows. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I feel from both of these shoes. Again, not that either of these shoes are bad shoes per se. They're just a little bit different. All right, segment number two done with the New Balance More V4s. So to recap, these shoes are slightly different, obviously. Different brands, different types of shoes, different materials. I will say this, I prefer the New Balance More V4 because I'm a heel striker and I'm looking for something that is gonna help make my stride a little bit more efficient. When I wear the More V4s, I sort of forget that I'm wearing a shoe at all. Like it just, it doesn't register of like, oh, I'm wearing this shoe or I can feel this or that. It just sort of disappears. It's not really on my mind, which I think is the mark of a really good shoe. That being said, the Invincible 3 is still a great shoe. I think it got a bad rap from a lot of people who wanted to be a little bit dramatic on social media when these first came out. They're just slightly different. I would say the More V4 is better for your long run. So if you're looking to have you know, not necessarily like an easy recovery pace, like a little bit faster, but something that is going to stay firm and durable and hold up over the course of a very long run. The More V4, I think, is the better shoe for that. The Invincible, it's kind of an interesting shoe. I think it's like, it sort of splits the difference. The Invincible would be a good easy run recovery shoe, but also something you could run a little bit faster than your long run pace, like maybe getting into tempo run territory. It's very versatile in that sense. It doesn't have that rocker construction. I prefer the more V4. I know people love the Invincible 3s, so it really is a matter of preference and what you're looking to do with this shoe. I'm excited to log a ton more miles in the more V4 in my marathon training plan. I'll probably buy another pair of these just to have something for those long 16 mile runs in the middle of the summer i think these are going to hold up really well so that is today's video let me know what you think if you've run in either of these shoes if you've run in both of these shoes which one do you prefer what do you like what do you dislike let me know in the comments below but that is the video for today thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you soon